Biden's decision to withhold military aid to Israel is a strategic mistake of epic proportions. Here's why. Right Arrow Israel is the U.S.'s closest ally and the only democracy in the Middle East. It was under a deadly attack on October 7th and has been constantly attacked since then by Hezbollah in the north of Israel, by the Houthis in Yemen, by the Shia militias in Iraq, and once directly by Iran. In such dire times, an ally like the U.S. is expected to stand unequivocally next to Israel and do everything in its power to help Israel win the war. Right Arrow stopping the military aid to Israel is a prize for Hamas. It validates its human shield strategy of hiding behind civilians and embedding oneself within the civilian population, storing ammunition, digging tunnels, and launching attacks from civilian homes, schools, hospitals, and mosques. All other terror organizations around the world are now learning that hiding behind civilians pays off and will soon implement it as well, leading to much more civilian casualties in future global conflicts. Right arrow radical Islamists like Hamas detect weakness and immediately take advantage of it, hardening their position in any future negotiations for a ceasefire, knowing that Israel lacks strong support. This will actually prolong any such negotiations and will hurt the efforts to return the hostages, as Israel will not accept extreme demands that will leave its own civilians exposed to more October 7 THS, like Hamas promised. Right arrow building on the previous point, Hezbollah, another radical Islamist organization, smells the weakness of the U.S. and is likely to accelerate its attacks against Israel. This will soon deteriorate into a full-blown war in Lebanon, as Israel can't sustain more aggression with more than 100k civilians evacuated from their bombarded homes in the north for over seven months. A war at that scale will lead to thousands of civilian casualties on both sides. Right arrow the objection to a military operation in Rafah keeps Hamas in power in Gaza. For hundreds of thousands of Palestinians, it means remaining under an authoritarian and oppressive regime that executes opponents and LGBTQ individuals in broad daylight. One that has no respect for human life, steals the food and aid of its own people, uses its own people as human shields, and invests in death and violence instead of education and growth. Right Arrow Saudi Arabia closely monitors the U.S. moves to figure out whether the U.S. can be trusted as a strategic ally in the front against Iran. Seeing what the U.S. is doing now will move it away from that alliance and will push it closer to its nemesis, Iran. Right Arrow Biden's decision was the main demand that the pro-Hamas protesters in American universities were pushing for all along. Accepting it is actually rewarding violent protesters who were chanting for death to America and burning U.S. flags. History has already taught us that a policy of appeasement towards evil beings never ends well.